That's better. Hi everyone, what's up? Joshua here from Alternative Brewing, and today in front of me we have the Lapavoni Cylindro Grinder. This is a stunningly beautiful grinder. So much so it's kind of hard not to get your fingerprints all over it. The all aluminium flat burr grinder is designed for the home or small office and with its Eureka Mignon-esque build brings with it reliable espresso and filter grinding. So we're going to run through the grinder specs now and check out how it performs. The capacity to the Cylindro's hopper is a generous 500 grams with a shut-off valve that helps remove beans back into the bag for best fresh results, or ideal for single dosing, which will allow you to guide those beans down one dose at a time through the burr chamber. Using 50 mm hardened stainless steel flat burrs, and with a 310 watt motor, it obtains consistent and reliable grind quality that's produced fast and cleanly into your porter filter. Changing the grind is done from the turn knob on the top right hand side of the grinder. Although no identifying numbers clearly mark your position on the grind adjustment mechanism, like so many other grinders these days, the Lapavoni Cylindro has adopted the internal mechanism, and this avoids becoming clogged or jamming due to dust or coffee particles getting around the gears. To operate the Lapavoni, it's an automatic press switch found underneath the forks of the grinder. Now these forks are adjustable, not by much, but they are enough to ensure that grounds always make their way into a porter filter, or you can use a dosing cup, no worries. Otherwise, they can be removed if you are grinding into bigger containers. The well-lit LED display offers two user-friendly dose by time modes, as well as a continuous grinding mode, depending on your uses. Adding or subtracting time from a program dose is done in tenths of a second and is intuitive simply by tapping the plus and the minus buttons and this will give you more or less coffee in the basket each time. It is important to note though that if you adjust the grind size, you also need to adjust the time as well to maintain the same dose. Then there's a pause feature on the Cylindrio. By pressing that button in during grinding, this will interrupt the timed program. Helpful for collapsing a filter basket or not overdosing into your porter filter. To access the continuous grind feature, you just need to press together the one and the two cup buttons, and then you'll see that circle symbol appear in the screen. Then it will grind non-stop once you activate that grinder for a full one minute of grinding. And this feature is best used when you don't want to grind out to a program such as single dosing. Much like its Eureka contemporaries, an anti-static screen has been installed at the top of the chute, and this provides a direct grinding path that's always clean and reduces those negative effects from static. Then to access the burrs for regular maintenance are two small screws to remove the plastic top and then three more screws to remove the top burr carrier. Brush and vacuum out the burrs and the burr chamber and then put it all back together to ensure the grinder keeps clean and working well for years. The noticeable spacey interior of the Lapavoni's body does seem like a rare occurrence in these modern times of space savings and reducing material costs, and I do believe it has a small impact on reducing the noise produced by this grinder, as well as a large padded footing underneath the grinder reducing vibration. And it's hard to parse the stylish look that has been a recognisable trait of Lapavoni aesthetics for decades, and it remains with that reliability of Italian quality manufacturing, albeit a Eureka grinder under the hood, you know at least then it will have below average retention and will most likely outlast any espresso machine you can pair it with. So if you have any questions on the Lapavoni Cylindro, throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Thanks for watching to the end of this review and we'll see you in the next one.